What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Riley. Today we're going to be doing another episode of Crypto in 5. Today we're going to be looking at the crypto known as Tron. So let's get into it, shall we? Alright, first off, what is it? Well, Tron is a decentralized entertainment platform, which keep in mind, keyword here, will use blockchain technology. It doesn't currently, but it will very soon. Basically, if you don't know what a decentralized entertainment platform is, think of, for the examples I've got here, think of Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, Apple Store, Google Play Store, Facebook. Think about those, but uh, think about it with no middlemen. They don't, they don't have a company controlling them. Some of the main goals of TRX include, first of all, free and uncontrolled data, really big thing nowadays, especially in the Eastern world, but also becoming very important in the Western world. Second, users will be able to attain digital assets for their content creation. So this is a financial incentive. And for those who don't know, digital assets are basically uh, entities on a blockchain or a platform which have real world value connected to the outside world. On the platform, you will be able to host your own personal ICOs as a content creator. And using this, you will be able to launch your own tokens and currencies. And this will be done through the use of a Tron 20 token, which is basically the same thing as ERC 20 tokens on Ethereum. And the fourth current objective of Tron is to create a distributed digital assets exchange. And this covers a ton of different content creation areas, I could say. But for example, here I've put in gaming, very lucrative industry and a lot of people i'm sure if you play games you would know even if you don't realize it you're often using an asset exchange with digital assets on to the future of tron the first off exodus basically this is releasing and integrating the blockchain platform like i said before it's not a blockchain platform yet but it will be after the completion of exodus phase two economic incentive integration and this is basically to do with their nodes and giving the nodes uh, on the network economic incentive. And I, I can't go into it now because I don't have enough time, obviously, but the platform uses a consensus algorithm which is similar to proof of stake. Number three, Great Voyage. And so this is basically where you'll be able to host your own personal ICOs, just like I mentioned before with some of the main goals. This is really tailored towards just that. Number four, Apollo. This one's linked to the last one with creating your own ICOs. This is basically to do with releasing your own personal tokens and the creation and integration of the Tron 20 token. Number five. Wait, hold on. Five, that's it. Star Trek. Now, number five is really tailored towards decentralizing the gaming and forecasting, <laughs> forecasting industry. Stage six, eternity. Basically, this is tailored towards the gaming industry itself. This is basically allowing fundraising for game development and allowing retail investors to invest in games just like any other asset or like an ICO or something. So, the team behind Tron. And really, the one person I want to talk about is the founder. He is Justin Sun. He was mentioned twice in Forbes Asia 30 Under 30, and he was also the protege of Jack Ma. If you don't know, he was the founder of Alibaba, an absolutely huge company. Jack Ma is one of the richest men in the world. Also, he started an app called Pivo, Pivo, some shit, I don't know. And this is basically the Chinese equivalent of Snapchat. And so as you can see here from this list, Sun is well established in the business and the tech industry. Um, and he's made a very, very big name for himself, especially over in China. Most of the team have actually got a wealth of experience working and owning large Chinese companies. They may not be anywhere on Sun's level, but they're big nonetheless, especially in China. Okay, so some of my quick thoughts. One, the project is very, very interesting. It has a huge potential as it is targeting a huge market and a big, big audience, especially it's starting off in China, but it's also gaining a lot of traction in the Western world. Number two, it has a very experienced team behind it. However, it seems that Justin Sun is trying a bit too hard to hype up his project. If you follow him on Twitter, you would know what I mean. He's just constantly posting all these hype tweets about the project, trying to like give vague tweets about partnerships and development and announcements and things like that. And to be honest, I don't think it's very good for the coin long term. I think it can be pretty damaging. Sure, I can see that he's passionate about the project and wants to see it succeed. That's great, but 
you know, sometimes you just got to sit back and let the platform prove itself. You don't have to prove it for other people. Well, to other people, I should say. So, that's Tron in 5. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video or found it helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below on another crypto you'd like to see me overview in under 5 minutes. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you next time.